What up, y'all? It's your boy, T-Biz, and we got a new figure from, I think this is from 5K Toys. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure it's from 5K Toys. Um, or not 52 Toys, but yeah, 5K. Anyways, uh, they got some really cool figures. My buddy, Evil Villain, turned me on to a lot of them a ways back, and I was like, eh, and then I was just kind of going through it, and, um, and I think, um, who was it? Oh, man, I can't remember, dude. Tyrannosaurus Moth, I saw his review of the Fury Toys, um, that Samurai Leonardo, and I was like, dude, that's pretty cool, still want to get one, because I think my order got canceled for that, so I'm still trying to figure out a way to get that, uh, hopefully snag one someday soon, anyways, I uh, saw this on there, the Crazy Jack from the Movie Museum from Bob Toys, 112th action figure, and I was like, dude, this is straight up Jack Nicholson, it doesn't say it, it doesn't say The Shining, but, you know, kind of hits towards it, and then I think on, um, who else's, uh, page or site or YouTube, it was, uh, Sammy's Toy Hall Collectibles, I think he did like a little, little quick clip of, uh, of the, I think of, um, it's the Greedy Doctor, which is basically like, uh, the dude from, uh, or Anthony Hopkins from, uh, uh Silence of the Lambs, which that's a pre-order for right now on, um, uh, 5K Toys, uh, I think it's 25 bucks deposit for pre-order, but, uh, yeah, this figure's like about less than 100 bucks, so, uh, it's, it's really not a bad deal, and it comes in a cool box with uh, Jack Nicholson's likeness for The Shining, it's 112 scale. Here's all the stuff you get in the back. You get uh, extra hands, like a smash door piece, an axe, a stand, a typewriter. Um, this icon all from like, like, iconic scenes from the movie and stuff. And then you get an extra head, or two head portraits, so that's pretty cool. You got him with the frozen head when he's like in the labyrinth. <laughs> When he's chasing his kid down, trying to kill him. And the funny thing about this uh, movie, too, um, I saw this when I was a kid. Like, uh, I think I might have been five or six, maybe. F maybe even four. I can't remember, but I saw it on TV. And I was like, wow, that's a crazy-ass movie. And um, I liked it ever since. It's one of my top favorite horror movies or Stephen King-type movies. And anyways, I'm going to shut up and we're going to check this Old out. school. Got to do the proper unboxing, which some of the stuff is already kind of flopping around in here. So that's kind of whatever. It's not that big a deal because we're not going to, don't think I'm going to keep the box and stuff like that. So, because I'm just not a box collector. Boxes take up a lot of space, a lot. So yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, go ahead and get I'm all the stuff I'm not going to lie, out. folks. For the price I paid, this is pretty good, man. This is pretty decent. Um, it comes to the Bob's Toy. It's a... Uh, Silica pack, which is a 2021 Bob Bob Toys Limited. Do not eat, throw away. So, yeah, get away. Get rid of that. Anyways, um, here's the cool door effect. That is rad, man. And here's the axe, which is this feels like die cast almost, man. It really, it's got some nice heft to it, man. It really does feel like die cast. Um, yeah, really nice uh, paint on this thing so far, really cool. You got his frozen head in a bag, which is kind of morbid and kind of cool. <laughs> That's rad. Then we have the typewriter, which feels like it's die cast too. Maybe polystone, but it feels kind of die casty. Um, it's got some felt on the bottom, so that's cool. Uh, cool little typewriter, man, that's really cool. Oh yeah, and it has the piece of paper you can, uh, you can stuff in there too. Gotta get that open. Here's the door key, cool little keychain. Here's the keychain, the Overlook, Mount Qualo, Colorado 80305, phone number 303-442-1679. I wonder if you should call that, then room number 237. That's cool, man. It's a nice little keychain. I might use it, man. I don't know. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nifty. <laughs> it's funny, man. Makes me want to see The Shining again for real. I want to watch that tonight. Um, wouldn't be bad like to see, uh, what does it say? The iconic all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy all over and over and over again. <laughs> so that's rad. That is cool. You can just slide that right to the typewriter. Like so. And that is freaking cool, man. Super iconic, man. That is freaking rad, dude. I need to get more 112 stuff like chairs and stuff like that that I don't have for uh, my figures and set up some proper dioramas. Because that's the one thing. I've got a lot of cool figures. But I don't really have a cool, a lot of the cool dioramas, man. I've got play sets, but those don't really work for a lot of 112 figures, man, as far as dioramas go. Got some extra hands, which these aren't bad. That's cool, man.
creepy grabby hands, her outreaching claw hands. Got a come hither finger, her trigger finger. You've got a kind of a ball squeezing cup hand. Okay, let's see it's that same hand again. And the trigger finger or whatever, the curled up finger. So yeah, it's pretty cool. This figure's rad so far, man. He feels pretty decent. Not too bad at all. He's got that cool side eye action, which I get made fun of a lot at work. <laughs> or just in general. He's got a cool corduroy jacket. Nice uh, flannel shirt. Cool belt. Wow, that's nice, man. Even the pants. He's got some Tims on. So that's cool, too. Really decent figure, man. Good, uh movement in the feet so that's cool man let's see we can get him to do some splits his legs move out but it's going to be a little hindered by the clothing which you don't need him to do like crazy street fighter crap anyways so his arms move around so that's pretty cool that's a good deal right there so far he feels pretty solid elbows move i'm not going to strip him off or take them apart, you know. I that was the thing I was famous for as a kid, but um, just totally dismantling my toys. But I don't do that. I tend to do that a lot since I'm older now. I tend to give my toys a little bit of a break and take care of them, um, or try to. <laughs> yeah, got cool little pockets, man. Buttons. Everything is really nice with this figure. Face sculpt is rad. Kind of cartoony, comic booky, but really cool. And the likeness is held a lot like uh, it's tied in the back, like Jack Nicholson, man. This is really rad, dude. I love Jack Nicholson, man. He's a rad actor. Um, yeah, dude, that's freaking cool, dude. Freaking really, really cool. Got to check out his other head. Even though I like keeping it in the bag, it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of funny and creepy. Before we snap <laughs> this head on, that's really cool. It's like the end scene of the movie, dude. It's perfect for a winter meme, especially when it snows. Because his, his eyes are just kind of crossed. <laughs> this is really rad piece, man. This is a really great piece. Man, my hands are dry. Anyways, it's, it's that time of year. Everything's dried out. But yeah, I can't wait. I hope it snows. I actually do. I hope it doesn't... St if, even if it snows like deathly snow when we had snow, we'll see what happens. But, uh, but if it snows, it'll be perfect. Oh, his head pops right off. I like that peg. I like that peg, man. It's a good peg. So there we go. That's funny, dude. That's hilarious. That's cool. <laughs> that's rad, dude. He's like... <laughs> oh, that's rad. That's freaking cool, dude. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We can get him set up with some... See, you could just have him sitting in the snow. If you have snow around, dude, that'd be freaking cool, man. And if you have a good sh some shrubbery in the background, that's rad. Freaking cool figure, man. Freaking really cool. He could add these pieces to get the full effect from the movie, dude, which is really freaking cool, dude. This is this is a fun figure, fun pieces, man. Just really good deal, man. And I, I'd give this two thumbs up and highly recommend this figure for sure. For sure, for sure. Folks, sure. is our review for a cra the Crazy Jack from movie Museum Bob Toys. Bob Toys Movie Museum, whatever you want to call it, uh, from 5K Toys. Really cool stuff, uh, super recommend it, and uh, yeah, man, very cool figure, but I would, you know, once again, like a Mezco or a Mythic Legions, handle it with care, dude, or any of your toys, handle it with care, don't make it do crazy crap, and, um, but then again, if you buy it and you just want to dismantle the hell out of them, go for it, be my guest, but uh, I don't know, I think I paid good money for them, and I think I'm just going to leave them alone as is, and I think it's pretty rad, and I guess, too, if you wanted to, you could probably add them to maybe uh, some Mezco pieces and stuff like that, but oh yeah, I almost forgot, we got to do good old... Good old fashioned sauce. And for compare Roonies, we got him next to a local 112 Gomez, which is still a cool figure. Haven't really entirely enjoyed him as much as I should be able to just because it's been busy for the holidays. And we got a good old Ghost Rider right there, too. And a good old Super 7 Ultimate King Diamond. And I think he fits pretty well because most famous people are kind of short, right? Um, anyways, uh, yeah, dude, for 112 scale, I think I think he fits very well with the, with these figures and stuff. Probably more in sync with the TB League figure, maybe. Um, but other than that, man, that that's, this gives you the general idea of the size of this figure and the quality, man. It's really freaking cool, man. Really cool. Anyways, thanks for watching. All, and plus, let me know what you think in the comments about this figure. 
I think it's pretty rad, man. I think it's pretty freaking rad. Anyways, uh, y'all have a good one, all right? Later.